How does it feel to take your place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? To take my place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe feels so exciting, a little bit overwhelming, and I'm very grateful to be here. What attracted you to the part of Sylvie and what do you like most about her? I think what attracted to I think what attracted me to the part of Sylvie is how sort of broken she is. I find it interesting to play characters who are damaged and who um, wear a sort of lot of armor, but you know, they also get a chance to show their vulnerability. And, um, and within that, um, I find, you know, that, that the most fun, the fun stuff to play. Um, she's also really funny and she gets some funny lines, which is always fun. As an actor, what was your approach to uh, getting into the character? So my approach to getting into the character was to, you know, do my research. So I watched all of Tom's stuff and rewatched the films. Um, and then I sort of tried to forget about it. And, you know, cause I, I really didn't want to just do an impression of, of Tom's Loki cause that would have been really bad um, cause I'm terrible at impressions. Um, so I just wanted to um, make it my own. Um, I think a lot of it started with the fighting style because one of the first things we did in prep was to start um, working with the stunt team and, and work on the fight scenes because um, there was a lot to learn. And we were really um, keen on, on and Sylvie being quite sort of rough with her fighting style. You know, she's, she's a street fighter. She's a brawler. She's not a trained martial artist or anything like that. She just uses her strength and her sort of bravery to get through um each fight and she i think she quite enjoys fighting she enjoys the adrenaline of it and the rush of it and you know gets a kick out of um out of out of the fight and and that 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 told me a lot about her character that she's this sort of feral cat almost who you know will will pick a fight because she knows she can win um or she knows that she'll survive if she doesn't win um yeah and i think that's where it started for me how did the director, Kate Heron, help you uh, approach the character? Kate has just been so supportive right from the beginning. I mean, I knew Kate already and we were we were pals. So, you know, she, right from the beginning, she was like, so, you know, I want you to just have fun with this. Make her your own, do whatever you like, you know, improvise, you know, throw whatever you like at this and I'll be there watching. And, you know, if something doesn't work, I'll politely let you know. Um, so she was just a great person to have around to sort of rein me in when it was getting too much or to, you know, give me a thumbs up when it was working and just a, a really um, a, a great director um, to have to have um, at our side and to just up trust 100%. Tell us about working with Tom Hiddleston. Working with Tom was such a dream. He's just such a charming, polite, sort of generous human being. Um, he has all the time in the world for this show and he chocks every bit of his energy into it. He cares so much and I've never seen work ethic like it. He's, he's, inspiring and you know I think it filtered down to, to all of us he was just such a great sort of lead in a way to 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 have as as the sort of head of this incredible journey that, we, that we've all been on um, for the past year and a half um, yeah and he's the common dear friend Sylvie is in a lot of action scenes. Can you tell us a little bit about the training and about learning fight moves? So we started training really early in the process and we would do sort of sword drills and boxing drills and a lot of martial arts drills, basically just to sort of get into our bodies a little bit more. And it was super challenging. I just had a baby and I wasn't really in that space um i was you know i had a lot of work to do to to get to get fit and active again and um 
yeah, it was it was challenging, but so much fun, and I I really enjoyed sort of learning those um, learning those moves and learning how to do a roundhouse kick. That's quite a cool skill to have, isn't it? And finally, tell us about the look and feel of the show. I think the show looks beautiful and. I think a lot of that is down to Kate Herring, the director. She had such a strong vision for the show and I love it. Like all the colors and the, you know, the different, different worlds that we, you know, we end up in the the different locations all so different, um, but each have such a strong, unique sort of look on them. Um, And I think Kate was really, really keen on it looking, you know, beautiful and, I think she took a lot of references from like Blade Runner and shows like, and and movies like that. Um, uh, Yeah, and the feel of it is also sort of, you know, this apocalyptic sort of epic adventure, but it's also funny. And um, yeah, there's, there's so many, there's so many facets to it, which is hopefully why people are are enjoying it so much. There's, There's something for everyone. Hi there movie lovers! Did you know that Psycho was released in black and white even though colour film technology was already advanced because director Alfred Hitchcock kept receiving backlash about the shower scene being way too gory when seen in full colour? Make sure to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content and if you like my t-shirt you can get it right below this video.